these are really cute little placeholders. They're really cute. Um, they can make little signs. You can make them big old magnets. Um, they're just super duper cute. They're called mini charcuterie boards. So first things first, what you want to do is I'm going to prepare my board. And some people like to stuff their board up and stuff like that. Um, I'm not going to do that here. I'm not going to do that here. I'm not even going to paint it. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to just tape off my board. So I have my little frog tape. So I know that I'm going to want my design to kind of go that way. So I kind of want to do it. Just kind of edge it not too crazy okay it's gonna fall it's gonna fall right along there I'm gonna take my blade and I'm going to cut what you cut it doesn't have to be perfect go slow don't lose a thumb right for the holidays but I do not want it to get on the back side okay so I'm definitely going to just cut along the edge right here. Pop this guy off. There we go. Okay. And just for added protections, I'll just go ahead and make double sure I don't get any extra in here. just in case, even though I'm not going to be going past here, just to make sure it doesn't get any sneaky ideas. Okay, all right, and here we go. So I know I want to kind of just go with the flow and I wanna add some crystals right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fill up my little squeezy guys with my counterculture artist resin. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this out of the way real quick. And um, I have my part A and my part B. And I'm only doing this just for like, so that I can squeeze them precisely in the little medicine cups. Now I'm just gonna slowly turn my epoxy. This is just regular artist resin from counterculture, okay? The reason I'm using this one and not fast set because I want time to work with it. Now this right here is my total epoxy for all my board, okay? This is all I'm going to use for this board. So I'm gonna put this aside, take another pot, and I'm going to take my Bogart. And I'm going to take a pinch. I am talking, that is still too much pinch a pinch maybe even that maybe just touch it okay ah. I'm just gonna leave it in there for now and I'm going to barely 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 I'm talking like less than 2.5 okay less than 2.5 and I'm going to touch like that and I'm going to turn that's it bring back your board and we're going to put down our base didn't even use all of it. I'm going to take cups and I'm going to pull all of this down this way. Cover all of this right here. Set it just like that. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh my god, the back of it. Don't worry about it. We have that on the back. So just set it down just like that, it's all covered. And all I'm gonna do now is take my Hera, pass them out just like that. I'm just gonna drop them like this.
taking my familia. And I want this to be a little thick. So I'm only gonna put a little bit in there. I want it to be very, very, very condensed and not move so much. So that way, focus. It's very, very thick, okay? And I'm just gonna just drizzle it right along the edge right here. And this gold is so pretty. And now I'm gonna take my dusted. There we go. And I love my rock set dusted. I haven't had a chance to play with it a whole lot. But I'm only gonna use a little bit, okay? I'm taking my clear. And I'm gonna kind of drizzle some right along the top of it, right here, to break some of this up. And what's fun about clear epoxy, dropping it on top of what you've already like manipulated, it will repel. So whatever you drop down, it'll push it out of the way. So you can make like little barriers. Then, drop some of this in here. Then, mix this up. Now this, I want it to be very, very, very runny. Because I don't want it to be too condensed. I want the dusted to kind of be flowy, okay? And I'm gonna drizzle that on top of my crystals. Right, there we go. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some more clear. More clear. And I'm gonna put one drop of my hold up. One drop. Use so much of this one. Oh, it came out so quick. Oh, squirt it out. Okay. We're good. I was scared I mixed the ratio up too much, but we're good. Sometimes epoxies can be finicky. So now I'm going to just barely. Drop it, just like that. Get some little action. bottom I'm gonna make it come straight to the to the side make it stop right where it stops right there I'm gonna put this daddy right there and I'm gonna set him just like that so I got a little caramel pumpkin spice little caramel delight I want I want to manipulate it just a little bit off the side Yeah, yeah. And it'll still vein out. The more it sets, it's gonna vein out some more. And so we used our familia, our hold up, our gable, Hera, rock set, and Bogart. It's very festive, isn't it? I love it so much. And then right here on the bottom, you can put someone's name you can serve little hors d'oeuvres on it. You can put like a little treat on there for them. For less than $3,
there's so many different things that you can do. All right, so what I'll do is, I know you're probably wondering, what about the tape? Um, I'm gonna let this cure, and then I'm going to come back once it's fully cured, and I'm going to hit it with a heat gun, and I'm going to pull the tape off nice and easy. Bien suavecito, okay? Okay, okay. All right, guys, take care. Talk to y'all soon. Bye.